Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is Ray Weiss from Conflict Simulations LLC back with another video um, showing off one of our games. This time I got uh, 1812 Scorched Earth. Uh, this covers Napoleon's campaign against Russia in 1812 um, at a strategic level, corpse and division scale. Um, each turn is two weeks and I believe each hex is, uh, I think it says here, 20 miles. Um, and like my other videos, I'm not going to do a really detailed explanation of how to play the game and the mechanics. Um, I'm going to do sort of an overview that would make sense to other wargamers. Um, I'm going to use some terminology that will probably only make sense to other wargamers. So if you have any questions um, and you're confused about anything I say or something doesn't make sense, uh, just go ahead and put your question in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to answer it. Um, all right, so there are two uh, main unit or three main unit types in 1812. You have your um, infantry, uh, cavalry, and uh, headquarters. Now, um, the main combat units are infantry and cavalry, and they both basically work the same way, except that um, cavalry. I believe has seven movement points, whereas infantry has a standard of five movement points. Now, um, let's see, I'm gonna get into some of the unique things about this game, because I, I really like this one, um, and it sort of uh, serves as, um, it sort of inspired some other designs of mine from since that I've worked on it. Um, and so, this is the regular setup for the game. Um, except that this guy should be somewhere around here. I forget exactly where, but... Um, and you can see here that the unit types correspond to different cores, uh, or army groups, rather. So, and they, the units themselves are cores. So Napoleon has an army group, I believe Murat has an army group. Um, and the Russians are set up on a similar in a similar way, except the Russians also have these clear units because they have a bunch of independent units that also, these are reinforcements that get drawn randomly later. So they get some random replacements that can come on the board later on. And um, let's make a quick mention of some of the administrative mechanics in the game. Um, the game runs off of supply points for the French, and um, in addition to that, there's uh, command points that both players get to spend. The command points um, will allow players to choose different actions during a turn, um, from strategic movement and regular movement. Um, and in addition, they can spend it, it allows them to activate units. Units can activate multiple times during a turn, although they start to get exhausted. And they can also use those command points to uh, buff up their combat skills when attacking, giving them a positive die roll modifier. Um, and in addition, they can hold on to the command points from turn to turn, and the headquarter units themselves have a command rating that will, um, there it is, that state both the bonus, those are like a, um, for command points each turn you roll 2d6 and then add the commander's command rating to that. So if you rolled a 7, which is what you would roll on average for 2d6, for Marat he would have 9 command points. So you would move him to 9. Um, okay, let's also talk about combat. Combat is in hex in this game, um, so that would be a combat if this uh, French stack moved into that Russian stack, um, and you total up the strength points for each side, uh, pretty standard for most wargaming, but instead of a ratio, um, both sides roll on this CRT, um, depending on how much, uh, SP they have, or what their strength points are, and um, that's basically it. It's pretty simple. Those little symbols basically break ties for when results are either zero or one, and um, in order to actually eliminate a unit, you have to bring it below zero steps. So a unit can get to zero um, and still function. Once you bring it below zero, it's actually dead or eliminated. Uh, the French also have some unique uh, issues in the game because they have uh, Austrian units that they get to use along with uh, Prussian units that um, under certain conditions and random events they may end up 
um, going away. There's random events for the Russians as well. Um, and another thing I like about this game is that there's also reaction movement. So um, well, let's just uh, go back to this example. If this guy was trying to move into that hex, or let's say this guy was moving and he moved into here, the Russian player would be able to roll 2d6, and that would be a fail, because it's a uh, 2, but if he had rolled a 9 or higher, um, this unit would have been able to move either one hex away, or could have even moved into the hex to initiate a combat early if it was maybe a weaker force and it would be beneficial to do so for the defender. Um, I really like this game because both sides have a really fair shot of winning, and it also it plays really historically. Um, the headquarters units um, basically are where the command points come from, and as long as they're within three hexes of uh, their subordinate units, they can command them. Um, Napoleon being an exception that he can command all the different uh, forces under his command. So, um, yeah, I think that's a good... We're over six minutes now, so it's a basic summary of the game. Um, it's part of our 2140 series, so it uh, you know takes about two hours to play. has less than 140 pieces, um, and really most of those are markers anyway for this one. This is really a low counter-density game. Um, and... Yeah, there's also a lot of chrome, I forgot to mention, but of course the Russians can burn down their own cities, <laughs> um, and that also denies the French player VPs, uh, along with making the cities that they control um, ineligible to draw supply from, which makes these depot units uh, more important for the French. So yeah, that's basically the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the game sells for $39.99 and you can download, buy or download, the Vassal module and the rules, but the Vassal module and the rules are for free, um, from our website at consimsltd.com. Uh, thanks again for checking out 1812. I hope you enjoyed the video and check out the game. Have a good one. Bye-bye.